This video was recorded in front of a live virtual audience. Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking my top of five. This makes it 10 actually. Top five perfumes for the month of June 2021. What list is it going to be? Well, let's get straight to it. Uh, thumb up this video if you're liking it thus far. There's not much to like thus far, but you know, help us grow the channel by also subscribing to my channel. Push the subscription button and next to the subscription button, you can push the join button and become a member today, gain access to extra perks. You can also um, join me on Patreon, Super Dacob all spelled together on Patreon. Gain access to extra perks there as well. Thank you to my members and patrons who have already pledged. And thank you to my co-reviewers and co-watchers in the Fashion Bunker here because this video is being filmed live in front of a virtual audience. And if you wish to partake in the filming live as well with me and be in the chats, I am live streaming from my channel every Saturday. Just go to my community tab on my YouTube channel and my main YouTube channel uh, around Friday evening and see the post for the upcoming live stream on a Saturday. And then you get to see your local streaming times, set a reminder and you're good to go. That's all it takes. So guys, thank you so much for being on the chats with me. Let me see if anybody has any guesses. I think somebody already guessed one perfume I've seen in the chats, but okay, well, fine. Yeah, it seems like you guys. So June is also my birthday month. Oh my God, my hair is big. My hair is very fluffy today. I'm looking more and more like Virginie Viard. You know, she has like very <laughs> fluffy hair. So Virginie, this one's for you, girl. <laughs> anyway, um, right. It's my birthday month, so it's going to be a little bit special. We're going to go a little bit off the rails because it is my birthday month. So why can't I just be free to, you know, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So, of course, somebody already guessed. And yes, you've guessed correctly. I... It's the love of my life. It's my favorite Chanel perfume. It is Pour Monsieur. It's also a fingerprint magnet. But, of course, only the Eau Toilette. I do have the Eau de Parfum as well, but this is, this is where it's at. And you guys, I love this perfume so much that I even have the deodorant and the aftershave lotion. The aftershave lotion has been discontinued, but I decanted. It's only available in splash bottles. I bought up all the bottles I could find in, in stores and I decanted into sprayers and I use it as a body spray. It has a bit of oil in it because it's for the face. So it, it has a nice oily texture on the body. It's just so refreshing in hot months. And right now I'm in a tropical climate, so... Pour Monsieur, the body lotion is amazing. The, um, the aftershave lotion is amazing. Sorry, did I say body lotion before? I meant aftershave lotion, decanted in a sprayer, and I use that as a body spray. Then I use the deodorant stick, not the deodorant spray. I'm a huge fan of the, of the deodorant stick. I use it every day. It has a bit of oak moss in it. Delicious. Smells divine. Loving it. And it never stains my clothes. That's a super plus. And of course, the eau de toilette, which... I just give it to me, you know, oh my God. It's so, especially in summer, I use it all year round, but in summer it just blossoms and blooms. It gives you energy, it revitalizes you. It is so elegant, so sophisticatedly, 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 sophisticatedly formulated, <laughs> sophisticatedly formulated. Oh my freaking God. Um, uh, Jacob, how you doing? Anyway, so, uh, Pour Monsieur Eau de Toilette, it just has, oh, I mean, there's nothing more elegant than this. And it's unisex. I mean, of course it says Pour Monsieur for men, yada, yada, you know, the spiel. Perfume knows no gender. Chicks can wear it. Guys can wear it. Anybody can wear it. If you like how it smells on your skin, you go for it. I've done many reviews on this one on my channel, so link Description box down below, card section up above as well. Pour Monsieur Eau de Toilette. I begin the morning with it. I spray it throughout the day. I use this one also. I say sometimes it's like a ginger. When you eat sushi, you always have a little bit of ginger in between two sushi rolls or bits to clean the palate. This one is wonderful between fragrances as well. So this one is also used throughout the day. Beautiful evening scent, beautiful morning scent. It's like a cup of coffee in the morning. It just energizes you in the right way. And yes, I still love it to bits, even in the current formulation. 
Sure, it's not what it used to be in the, in the 50s. When it first came out, 1955, the same year, the 255 bag came out. So, oh, so much history in this one. Henri Robert is the perfumer behind it. The most elegant of bergamots in the opening. It's a gorgeous sheep rub with hints of labdanum in the middle. There's coriander in there as well. Um, there, then, then there's ginger in here. Well, we, talking, we were talking about ginger and it has ginger in it. And then, you know, we have the oak moss. Still, they use real oak moss in here, not just some fake oak moss. They use just a little bit, whatever they're allowed to use, but it's still in there. They're still fighting to keep it in there, thank God. It's just a good quality perfume by Chanel. The best one they got. In fact, Coco Chanel, not for nothing, said, hey, this is the, the male counterpart to Chanel number no. five. This is just so good. It's as good as Chanel number no. five. No need to make another perfume for men. In fact, in her lifetime, this was the only one out there because it's just, you can't top this one. You, you can't. It's just the love of my life. So of course, for my birthday month, I'm going to, oh, you know, <laughs> treasure it. And I stock up on this one like there's no tomorrow. Every time I find it, buy it, buy it, buy it. So I'm, I'm a crazy cat lady in terms of crazy perfume lady, crazy pour monsieur lady. So that's number one. Number two, another one of my loves, um, and I, truth be told, always, uh, well, we're going to get, yeah, mm, uh, okay. I was thinking, like, chronologically, which one is better to have next? But I have to say this one. Sometimes, instead of Pour Monsieur, I begin the morning with another one of my loves. Actually, you're going to see all, all my loves here <laughs> today, in this month, because my birthday, I just want to celebrate the things that really mean a lot to me. Dior Homme Original. It is so beautiful. And let me tell you something. Yes, this is the one that you can currently purchase in some parts of the world, uh, only through Dior website. Um, so it is not the dreadful Dior Homme Eau de Toilette that they kind of sell in stores. No, this is the original, not the new concoction that Demachy brought out in 2020. This is the Olivier Polge formulation. Oh my God. And you know, sometimes I layer it with Paul Monsieur. Actually, I'm gonna do it right now. Oh, okay. So, especially in warm days, in warm weather, this one really blooms like, oh my God, the iris, the floral aspect of this one and the powdery, it just, it, it's, it's, it, it, it's fleshy. It has flesh. It's a fleshy, powdery iris. It's, it has depth. It's almost wet at the same time. It's delicious in summer. Deli in winter, it, it becomes a little bit astringent, which I also like. But in summer, it's so seductive, beautiful, elegant, tamed. It, it's classy, very classy. And it goes throughout the whole day in the morning, afternoon, evening. You could use this all day round. It's fresh enough to refresh you in the heat, but it's also classy enough to not just be a freshie. It, you know, it's also for date night, business meetings. Yeah, it's also friendly for the office. It's friendly to go shopping, but it always delivers a character. It always delivers a very, very distinct note. People will not forget you when they smell this on you. I mean, it's, it's just... Ah, it's beautiful. Oh my God. Right now, like right now I'm in a tropical climate. It's like so hot here. So this thing just pops. It blooms the second you spray it. It hits that makeup-y, irisy note that we know from a Dior Homme, from Olivier Polge from 2005, or when was it released? And it, it, ah. And it's strong. You know, it's not a weakling. It's a, it's amazing. It's amazing. So this is my number two. Moving on to number three. This is a relatively new discovery of mine. I mean, not that I didn't know it existed before, but that I kind of fell in love with it, in love with it. It's relatively new. It's just been maybe half a year, but also I'm experiencing this one in the heat. <sighs> Guys, let me tell you. Hmm. Quelques fleurs by Ubigan. The original, Quelques Fleurs, you know, not the Royal. We're not talking about Quelques Fleurs uh, Royal. We're talking about Quelques Fleurs L'Original. There's a lot of these perfumes that state that they're original, you know, Pour Monsieur Original, 
Not pour monsieur. Uh, pour homme, original. Pour monsieur, well, you know, whatever. But, okay. So when I got this in winter, and I was testing it out in winter, beautiful floral, but also in the cold, astringent. Now, in the heat, oh my God, you guys. This thing is not just floral. It also has a fruity note in summer. It develops this, I want to say, a weird alien banana touch. It has a banana touch to it. It's, an, it's, it's, it's the most ambrosial of any perfume. Of, it's the most ambrosial of any floral perfume I have ever tried in my life. And now in summer, it just pops even more. It almost has a banana-esque bubblegummy note to these really expensive flowers that are in here. It's majestic. It is... It's ambrosial. It's almost like you have, you know, that honey dripping off of something, but it has also pollen of all the flowers in it and the petals and the meaty, juicy, fleshy petals. It's just, it's wonderful. It's a dream. This is a dream. This, this to spray on delicately in the middle of the day when the day is at its hottest, when it's super, super hot outside, just one spritz of this, and you feel like you are that flower walking through the city. It's it's amazing. Really, really amazing. I mean, this one, and, it, and this is the current formulation. It's not even, you know, we're not talking de um, centuries ago. We're talking current formulation. Uh, really, really beautiful. Um, the owners of Ubigant are Loft Monaco. So Loft Monaco is the distributor of this one and also the reformulator of it. They did a wonderful job. This perfume is to die for. I have reviewed this one on my channel as well. Card section up above, description box down below. Um, yeah, said to have been Lady Di's perfume uh, at her wedding. And uh, Courtney Love and um, Kurt Cobain's also um, a loved, beloved perfume back then when they were still together and Kurt was still alive. So, I mean, there's a lot of history. It has a lot of history, a lot of mythology as well. A lot of it true, a lot of it not true, whatever. But, oh my God, worth every penny for me. And this is a 50 mil. And it look how long it lasts. And I use this a lot and it just, it lasts. It's amazing. So this is number three, right in the middle of the day, when the day is at its peak, when the sun is at its strongest. Now, the sun is slowly moving, you know, shifting. It's getting... That, those golden hues of, of air, you know, magical air. Then we shift to the symbol of June and the symbol of my birthday in many ways. And I, I don't know, because my mom gave it to me as a gift for one of my birthdays, but also because I just, I remember when my dad was still alive, may he rest in peace, um, when he came to visit me once with my mom, I was in some other country, it was all really complicated. Anyway, they came to visit me and I remember that day when I picked them up and I took them home, uh, I was wearing this perfume. So and I remember my mom asking me like, oh, wow, that that's strong. What is that? I, I think she meant it was a bit too strong, but then she got used to it. Now she understands perfumes more and she loves them because, you know, we talk a lot about them and she's learned to appreciate perfumes in a much different way than um, than she would have in the past. So she understands now much more, you know, about uh, depth uh, that they deliver. It's not just about smelling good. It's also about a whole story and a vision and dreams and memories. Cuir de Russie. Bio de Toilette. Uh, eau de Toilette, not Eau de Parfum. Okay? And also Cuir de Russie Pure Perfume. But I use more the Eau de Toilette because it's a little bit lighter. Uh, this is my June fragrance. I... Adore. Cuir de Russie really hits the spot for me. And June is the right month to wear this perfume. Again, because the warmth outside, if you are in a warm climate, just pops those molecules in the right way. And the timing is right. And they just blossom in the right way. And that hay leather, leather note slash hay. It has a very strong hay note. Uh, the hay note... It really delivers that barnyard feeling of being in summer countryside, enjoying the crickets in the, in the yard, you know, all, all that hay all around. And it's just... But there's also 
a sadness to it. There's a memory of times long gone. Oh, of course, also this one, card section up above, the review, description box down below as well, the review, link to it. So, you know, as the sun, you know, in summertime is after its peak and the sky turns golden, yellow, that's when you wear Cuir de Russie. And it's also wonderful for dates. It's wonderful for a night out on the town. It's wonderful for weekends away from the city. Uh, it's just adventure, but also familiarity makes you feel at home, but it gives you an adventurous, zesty mood. And it, it just, it gives you strength to be adventurous, to, to go and take on life, you know, by the jugular and just enjoy it and just like pack a little weekender bag with you and off you go somewhere without even knowing where you're heading off to. That's like kind of the, the visuals of the dream of Cuir de Russie in June. So elegant, so beautiful. Eau de Toilette. Another one of the loves of my life. This is number... I don't know what this is. Number four. I... Now. Right, 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 right. Okay, right, right. So, <laughs> number five. Night hath fallen. And uh, now I need something to hit the spot just right. Just right. And, uh, oof, opium. You know, the pure perfume, obviously, only. Oh, my God. Ooh. And this one, of course, in its splash bottle, just a drop. And here, and that's it, three drops. And um, to fall asleep with this on is to dream the most beautiful dreams. That's all I got to say. This one lulls you into sleep and just cocoons you and just takes you to warm places. And oh my God, it's like being in a movie. You guys, it's like being in a movie with Indiana Jones on an adventure. But you know it's going to have a happy ending because Spielberger is making the movie after all. You know Spielberger is famous for his happy... I know it's Spielberg. I'm calling him Spielberger because it's Del Getty, as Sofia Petrillo in The Golden Girls calls him Spielberger for funds. Just saying. Don't come for me. Pure perfume of opium. Just three drops. And you fall asleep like a baby and you dream those... <sighs> adventurous dreams, but that you know are going to have a happy ending. Like Indiana Jones. It's an Indiana Jones dream. Just wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And you're traveling to faraway places. I mean, you could see kind of the topic. It's all about travel this month for me. I don't know. I just, I feel like I'm ready to go. <laughs> I don't know where, though. Oh, and I love the whole concept of this little, you know, just hold it like that. And just... it's so beautiful. Pierre Dino, the designer of the bottle. I mean, ah, oh, one of the most beautiful perfume bottle designs ever made, in my humble opinion. Anywho, that's my number five. Now, because it's my birthday month, let me just like kind of rip the rule a little bit. There's two more, okay? Why not? I know I'm, I should just stick to five, but there are two more. And um, Chanel number 22. The Eau de Parfum in particular, because as I said, you know, I explained in my review of this fragrance. It's warm. It's sun. And it just makes you travel back in time in the best of ways. So this one, not every day, you know. That's why it's not like in the first five I mentioned. But this one, on a special day... Like, let's say, instead of going for quelques fleurs, sometimes I would use this one instead. Uh, that would be kind of in the center of the day where number 22 would jump in and just caress me and make me feel super sophisticated and make me feel like, yes, yes, bitch, I'm alive and I'm going to get it. Like, you know, mm, it's good. And the last one, also sometimes jumps in in the middle of the day instead of quelques fleurs. Yeah, best believe. Only on those days when it's super hot, like extra hot. Of course, it's a den because, you know, I use this one in the hottest of summers. Um, this is the Factice bottle. I actually have the spray bottle here. And I do have the vintage 90s 
five mil um, bottle it here with the splash. This this thing is to die for. I do love the current formulation as well, but girl, if you can get yourself your hands on the OG, do it. Also, one of the most beautiful bottle designs ever with this marbled glass just to die for. So Eden instead of Calque Fleur, obviously, because Calque Fleur is more like blossoming and blooming of everything. But sometimes I'm in the mood for rotting flowers and rotting fruits. That's when I go for Eden. And sometimes I'm not in the mood for florals or fruits. I'm just in the mood for rays of sun. That's 22. So that's the difference between these three that hit the middle of the day. So it's Calque Fleur most of the times wins this month. But if not on those days when I'm not into the floral aspect, but I'm more into the rotting fruit aspect, this one. And on those days when I'm not into the floral aspect and not into the rotting fruit aspect, but I'm just into the sunny rays of sun aspect, then it's number 22. So these were my top five perfumes for the month of June 2021 slash Jacob's birthday month. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me see if any of y'all's guessed anything. Um, so Olfactive Story says, oh, I would have guessed it then right. As you said, it's working really well in the heat. Oof, to die for. And don't forget, you guys, when it's really hot, the only place to really spray a den to enjoy it fully is behind the knee. So wear shorts or a short skirt so that your knees are naked or bare. And then behind the knee, you spray it just there. That's the perfect spot. If you have the current formulation, if you have the old formulation, it's also fine to do it here. It smells slightly different. Um, Louis says, Jacob, come with me to New York and feel our Carrie Bradshaw oats. LOL. Oh, I would love to, Louis. Jesus, I have two vintage minis now, too. Oh, yay! Emilio, so happy. I've really got to test it then. Rara, you got to. Now, I know you're more into the oak mosses and you're more into elixir and um, Kilke Fleur. Eden is different from all of them. So I'm not so sure it would really... You would really love it, but from a perfume historic point of view, it's different than anything else out there. It's worth testing just to just to have smelt it for yourself so that you know, like, oh my God, okay, this thing exists. Wow. You know, maybe you would not going to end up wearing it a lot, but just to know how it smells already would, I think, enrich anybody's olfactive uh, vocabulary. Totally. Uh, just your own memory of smells, just to have a den just to have smelt it is like, it, it's, it's something else. It's something, that 90s synthetic formulation, it's so 90s, it's so beautiful, it just takes you back. It, you know, when I smell this perfume, I always want to watch The Fifth Element. <laughs> Luc Besson. Clean Freak, Jacob, I just saved the money I would have spent on Yves Saint Laurent Homme and just ordered Dior Homme Original on eBay. Yay, well done. Much better, much better anyway. Um, so, I'm Louis says, the one I've been used a lot this past day is a lot. It's Halston just because I've been sick. It makes me feel like my grandma is hugging me. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, you did, you did tell me that, that uh, it reminds you of your grandma. It's good to wear perfumes that make us feel safe when we're like sick, when we have a cold. If you can smell it, because sometimes, you know, the nose is so stuffy, you can't smell anything really. But uh, Jesus says, Pure Parfum truly hits the spot. Like, no, I'm telling you, you guys, Pure Perfume. And I also try to make it really clear. Like, in every one of my top fives of the month, when I talk about perfumes, I always want to raise awareness on, on Pure Perfumes. Uh, because it's a dying art form. And I say this a lot, but that's why I kind of want to, you know, to people who maybe don't know much about perfumes, like if they do end up watching my video, that they kind of start thinking at least about it. Maybe, yeah, you think, oh, it's expensive. Such a tiny amount of liquid costs so much money. Yeah, but it's a totally different experience. The artistry that goes into making it, into applying it. And that's why I also say for Cuite Roussi, I also wear the pure perfume. And I mentioned it in my video on purpose because I want to raise awareness. And so I try to also select always at least one pure perfume bottle to show to you guys every now and then. Because it's important to not forget about these beauty, beautiful. This is like, there's nothing higher than this in, in terms of smell and emotions and dreaminess. And it's just, ah, such a trip, such a trip to have a pure perfume. Daniel says, I had the opportunity to buy a Cuit de Rossi de Toilette after it was discontinued, but I didn't. 
Live to regret it. My taste was not as good then as it is now. Oh, sorry that you missed. Oh, Daniel. But maybe you can still find a secondhand website that sells it. Debbie says, I, I first tried Cuit de Russie at the toilet in the summer. Did not care for it. Um, Rich says, I've got Cuit de Russie de Toilette. May try it in the summer. It's amazing. I mean, June. That's the month to go for. I always, this is, I mean, if we look back into the past years, my June selections, I think Cuit de Russie has been in my selections at least for the past three years. Jesus says, really need to try quelques fleurs. You got to, Jesus. I mean, you're going to say like, mm. <laughs> I mean, knowing your preferences in perfumes, you might not like be in love with it, but I really love it. I really love it. It really hits the spot for me. I almost swore yesterday, says Rara. I really want to try quelques fleurs if that's how you spell it, Aisha says. Uh, yes, that's how you spell it. I think the fleurs... Yeah, there's an S at the end of fleur because it's plural of flowers. So it's flowers, like some flower, just a bunch of flowers. And I love the the kind of the nonchalant name for the perfume because like it's supposed to be rich, opulent, full of flowers. But then they call it like, oh, just a couple flowers. Nothing, you know? You know, like when a drag queen comes in and, you know, walking in with the wig and you say, and with the dress and you say, oh my God, that dress looks fabulous. And the drag queen goes, this old thing? So, Kelke Fleur has that attitude. It's bombastic. You come into the room and the flowers are with you. And then everybody says, what is that? You know, wow, what a floral bomb. And then you say, oh, just a couple flowers, nothing much. That's the attitude of this fragrance. And that's the name of it too, literally. Interesting twist, says Debbie. I told you there's going to be a twist. And there's more twists coming uh, if you join, become a member of the Fashion Bunker and uh, Tier 2 member or Tier 2 patron because next Saturday live, I will be uh, telling you even more about this selection in the behind the top five perfumes for the month of June 2021. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Mr. Philip Fabulous thought that Ensemble Mythique was going to be in the selection. No, I have realized that Ensemble Mythique, and it's in real, real heat, becomes very dusty on me, which I enjoy in the winter, but now in summer, I need something a bit more floral. Ensemble Mythique does have the rose in it, but it's more about the ambergris, it's more about the incense, it's more about the dust. And right now, I need something more fleshy. Uh, Jesus says, um, you don't want to smell like poop on your birthday, referring to Ensemble Mythique. Uh, Sophisticalalalalale, yes. <laughs> Rara says, I'm going to start using that word. <laughs> We've just coined a new word, Webster's Dictionary. You're welcome. Jesus thinks that I, I chose number five. No, number five got its spotlight in May, it was its birthday. We, we did everything we could do for Chanel number no. five in May. Like we, we pushed the love for Chanel number no. five to like limits that like not even Chanel the brand could do. And yet they still have not released the products. They're coming end of June. So they're also coming for my birthday. So we're gonna talk a lot about Chanel number no. five towards the end of the month when the new products get announced and released, the birthday products. Yes, Chanel number no. five decided. Chanel decided to postpone Chanel number no. five's birthday for an entire month just because of me. Thank you so much, Chanel. It's like they knew. They're like, yeah, Chanel's Chanel number no. five's hundredth birthday is in May, but Jacob's birthday is in June. So yeah, let's kind of combine the two. <laughs> I wish. Could you imagine? Cha. Mm. Anyway, so um. What? Oh, I'm on the other side. Oh, right. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thumb up this video if you haven't already. And you get access to extra perks. Like being listed here on the sidebar as co-producers of the Fashion Bunker. Um, you also get to be co-producers of the Fashion Bunker if you become patrons on Patreon, Super Dacob All Spelled Together. You can also join me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Super Dacob All Spelled Together. You can also join me on my Chanel dedicated Instagram profiles. One is called Coco Chanel is in my house, dedicated to my Chanel collection. And the other one is called Coco Chanel Privé, dedicated to the life of Coco Chanel. And most importantly, depending on where I post this video, but join me on my Essentially Dacob perfume channel, it is a YouTube channel that I just initiated dedicated to just to perfume. So at the moment, I am still between the main channel and the perfume channel posting videos on perfumes. So it's a bit confusing, I know, but the 
other perfume channel needs to get as many subscribers as possible so we could start monetizing it so that I could actually post special videos just over there but for now it's just a ton of work and YouTube does not make it easy for you to build up your audience so we're getting there it's a slow walk but we're getting there so help the channel grow go and subscribe go over and go over there to essentially Dacob and subscribe to my channel there as well until next time love you all never forget to never give up on love bye